What's up, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, nurturing water signs out there are doing well. So, you guys, this is going to be a twin flame reading. I've already shuffled, meditated over the cards, so let's get into it. So, the first card we have here is, I check on you from afar. So, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, if you are in separation from your twin right now, or even when you guys don't talk. And I, for some of you guys, if you are in separation, meaning you haven't talked to your twin in like a few months, maybe even up to a year, just know that your twin is checking on you from afar, okay? This person could be having other people watching you on social media. If you guys stay in the same town, you know, they could be around by your house. They got other people around by your house trying to see if, you know, somebody over there. If you're dealing with someone, you got a girlfriend, new girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the situation is. This person checks on you from afar. Then we have this is the end. So I feel like your twin wants you to know your divine masculine and feminine, take it how it resonates, wants you to know that this is the end to, I feel like, whatever else they had going on. Like, this is not the end of you guys. This is the end of whatever else. So if your twin, like, chose someone else or were dealing with other karmics or whatever that they were doing, this person is, like, putting the end to that shit, Okay. So if they were dealing with other karmas, they hitting them karmas up like, shit, this is somebody else I'm trying to be with, I'm trying to fuck with, and I can't do this shit no more, okay? With this false person in reverse, I feel like if your twin was wearing a mask at one point in time, this is someone who didn't want to express their feelings, someone who didn't want to tell you how they felt, someone who was not being their true, authentic self. I feel like now, water signs, this person is ready to take that mask off with this false person being in reverse. Then we have this coffin. This person does not want you to put an end to this situation between you guys. They don't want you to have a new beginning with anyone else, okay? So I feel like that is why this person is putting an end to whatever else they had going on because I feel like for some of you, they can feel you kind of pulling away from them. Like they, they're they in their head thinking like, you know, do Cancer Scorpio Pisces, you know, they don't give me another chance. It's my time up, whatever it is. So, your twin know that they have to tell you some type of truth. So, for you guys, if your twin, they lied to you or deceived you or it was some type of truth this person has to tell you. This person know they have to tell you this. And I feel like that's, that's why this person is ready and willing. I feel like they're, they're willing to remove this mask and reveal them true selves. Like, to be naked and raw. You know, like on a lover's car where they're both naked in front of the angel here, I feel like this person is ready to bear their truth with you. And whatever this person has to tell you, water signs, they are not taking no for an answer, okay? So when this person reveals this truth to you, and this person comes and be honest, and you be like, ah, oh, shit, well, I'm already over that shit. That's my own bitch. I, I, I want you best, and we're going to be together, okay? <laughs> so let's see what else is going on in this connection. What message do you have for my water sign spirit? Okay, so your twin wants you to know that I didn't mean to hurt, hurt you. So this runner, the runner is the red cards. This runner wants you to know that no matter whatever happened in this connection, like their whole purpose was not to hurt you. Like they didn't move, but they, you know what I'm saying? The shit they did didn't make you feel like they weren't trying to hurt you. But purposely, you know, they did not tend, they did not intend to hurt you, Arjun. Then we have, I'm tired of the arguments. Everything was triggering me. So you and this person could have been doing a lot of arguing. Maybe you were like questioning them about shit because shit just want to add up to you guys. And you know, for a lot of us, you know, we detect this now and we can figure out, we're going we gonna to poke and proud until we figure out the truth. So I feel like a lot of you, you knew that your person was lying to you. You knew your person was not telling the truth or was not being their true self. So shit, you was... Ask some questions, but this person didn't like that shit. They wanted you to be like everybody else. Everybody else they was fucking with, see them other karmics and whomever else they was dealing with. They ain't asking no damn questions. Just whatever this person fucking said goes, you know? But with you guys, I was like, oh, hell to the night. That shit don't make no damn sense to me. So <laughs> you got to ask some questions and shit. Every time you would ask questions, you would make this person mad and shit. Y'all probably get to arguing and shit. This relationship scares me, and sometimes you do too. So this divine masculine is saying, like, this could have been a very intense connection between you and your twin. And it was like, you know, your intensity, how you were, it kind of scared this person because they weren't used to dealing with, you know, loving, nurturing people. They weren't used to dealing with intense people. They were used to dealing with low vibrational people with like them. You know, these people didn't have hopes and goals and values and aspirations and shit. So they allowed them to do whatever, but you guys was not going for that shit. 
I prayed for a love like this, and when I got it, I ran. For So for a lot of you guys, your twin, your divine masculine was praying for some real love. And it was like when you guys came into their life, they was not ready for that damn shit. You know, they, they ran. That's why that person ran from you, because you were something real. They were not used to real love. Oh, Lord. Okay, so this shit went somewhere else real fast. We have, I don't know if the baby is mine. So for some of you, your um, divine masculine shit could have possibly, someone could have told this person that they was pregnant. And this person is not sure if this baby is theirs. Okay, so that, yeah. And that could have been something that you was asking this person. Like some of you, you might have heard about this person, might have had a baby on the way or was fucking with someone. And... You know, they was like, no, no, no. But now this person's saying they don't know if the baby is theirs. I really want to tell you the truth, but I couldn't find the right words. Yeah, so this person, some of you, you could have told this person. Like, you know, you better be careful because you don't fuck around and have a baby or whatever it is. And this person, they didn't believe that shit. Then they fucked around and then it happened. Now this person, somebody could be telling your twin that shit they pregnant. And this person wants to tell you the truth and wants to let you know, like, damn, bitch, you was really right about what you said. But they don't know how to say that shit. What message do you have for my water signs today? I ignore my intuition because I was trying to work things out with my karmic. So I feel like for some of you, your your twins' intuition, like they, their spirit guides are trying to guide them and tell them who you were to them and that they need to stop treating you however or whatever way they was doing. But this person, they was ignoring that shit because at that time, they was focusing on their karmic. Because remember, we have here, I'm putting it in too. You know that situation so i feel like your person could have had a choice between you and the karmic and they went back toward their karmic here and some of you you could have been wondering why your twin was so cold and distant when it came to you in this connection it's because this person was still dealing with with this karmic and it was like Instead of them just telling you that maybe they, you know, were trying to see what was going to happen in this marriage, this relationship, they wanted to, like, have their cake and eat it, too, okay? I go out of my way to avoid you. So, for some of you, you're going out of your way to avoid your divine masculine. This is how they're feeling about you. One, because they know if they see you guys, you're going to be like, oh, bitch, ain't you supposed to be telling me some type of truth or something? So, they're avoiding you because right now they still can't tell you this truth. They're getting ready to tell you the truth, but right now they ain't ready to tell you guys. All right, you guys, that's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe.